Hi, another week, another time in the shop. I'm really gonna try hard this time to keep things going on a weekly basis. Just whatever I happen to do in the shop that week, that's what's going up on the video. Sometimes it's gonna be interesting, sometimes it might not be. Anyway, we've been cleaning up the dust storm from milling down the, the, uh, the, the what's it called? Uh, firewood. While we're waiting for that to dry, which is probably gonna be another week or so, um, it really is drying remarkably fast, and if it doesn't speed up, I'm going to pop it in the oven. Anyway, I've got a project, a very old project, that needs some fixing. This right here is one of my very first snare drum shells. Uh, I'd say my third or fourth. Uh, it's a little over three years old, and I, while it looks nice, it was going to be a 15 inch by, what is that, four and a half, something like that, um, half inch thick. I've learned a lot, a great deal, since making this, and uh, one of which is to make sure that my wood is dry before I use it. So we've got hard maple, uh, walnut highlights, and I've spaced the name of this wood for some reason. Anyway, because the wood wasn't completely dry, it shrunk, and this drum is no longer round. Now, obviously, and it's also no longer, no, no it's, it's flat enough, the table's not flat. Anyway, uh, what I need to do is I need to make it round. Now that's going to make it severely undersized. I'm not sure how undersized it's going to end up being. Uh, we'll wait and see. If it's close enough to 15, I'll get 15 inch hoops and it'll just have slightly oversized, uh, or I'll make 15 inch hoops by 15 inch heads. Uh, this is going to have wood hoops. And uh, we'll go from there. If, however, it is severely under 15 and there's no way it will be 14, um, I'm going to make custom calfskin drum heads. I think that could be really cool. It'd be an interesting challenge. And so that's what we're gonna go for. So first we gotta true up the outside, make it nice and round. After we make it nice and round, I'm going to true up the, the top and bottom of the rim. And I'm gonna do inlaid re-rings like I've done on a couple of my recent drums. And then I will go in and uh, hollow out or mill down the inside of the shell down to about a quarter of an inch. shell to bring it to the right size or not, or if I should say to round on the inside and the outside. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. I do have half an inch of shell to work with, so maybe it'll be okay. Something I've learned as time goes on is that when I'm taking such slow, making such slow progress because I'm following the, the threads here, I can be pretty aggressive in the cut. 
Anyway, so you can see there how uh, how out it is on the wide side, and then here, barely making any cut whatsoever, and over here, just barely skimming the surface. So I should be able to do the entire outside in one pass, but that gives you an idea of how far out of round this thing was because of the shrinking of, I can't think of what that wood's called. <laughs> Obviously there's some, you know, the, the ridges like this are because my table isn't perfectly flat anymore. Um, I really want to make a new table. We'll see if I can do that this summer. Uh, a little bit of a nick there from a knot, and I remember what it's called, it's sweet gum. That's the name of the wood, sweet gum. So, part maple, walnut, sweet gum. Uh, the joints, I'm actually really happy with the joints. This was a long time ago. I was just starting to, sort of really starting to figure things out. They're not all perfect, but they're pretty good. Um, I was able to get the shell pretty well centered on the jig, which uh, surprised me. Uh, pretty even cuts all the way around, and we are now perfectly round on the outside of this shell. Uh, I'm gonna sand this down a little bit just to get rid of the fuzz, and then we will take it off and do some <laughs> for tonight uh, I'll show you where we are and then uh, come back some other time when I have a chance to get back out here again hopefully before you know this week's over okay so I'm, I'm I was just gonna take the, the fuzz off but I ended up going all the way to 300 grit um, then I raised the grain so now it needs to dry before I go over one more time with 300 and then I will work on the inside and getting the inside around. Um, well, I guess we still have time. I'm gonna go ahead and pop off, pop it off the jig, and we'll take a look at what we've got inside. At its thinnest, it's not as thin as I thought it was going to be. So that's a plus. Where we're at. About three eighths. A little bit more than three eighths. And they're just a shade less than three eighths. So not terrible, actually. I can work with that. All right, let's see what our diameter is.
you know what, I think I might actually be able to go to a, a 14 inch drum that would be really thin. Because right now at total thickness or total diameter, we are at 14 and 3 sixteenths. Yep. <laughs> So I think what that means is I'm gonna have to make a drum head. I'm actually kind of looking forward to that. This would be such a friggin' custom drum that it requires custom drum heads. We'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. <laughs>